Hello YouTube, in this video I will go for a test drive, press a button, fabricate some parts and perform leak test. started this additional fuel tank project in 2021 as cardboard model. Then I transferred it to SketchUp and then I sent DXF files to LaserCut. Next I welded it all together, which wasn't the easiest job. I decided to go with 2mm aluminum sheets and they love to bend, so that was additional problem. For the bottom protection I went with 5mm aluminum plate. I also painted all components, added electrics, installed it during frame assembly and suspended this project for later. Recently I have unbolted this fuel tank from G-Wagon because I needed more access around rear axle. I decided to take advantage of it and kept it fully tanked during some time, mostly to check if it's leak free even though I performed many pressure tests. I also made some fuel pump tests to see if my idea of pumping fuel to main tank is reasonable and if all the electrics work. I have already learned many lessons to double or even triple test and check before installing my own fabrications. When you think about fuel tank you may see it as a single part, but in reality when you start to design one you realize that there are so many things all around it. So there must be fuel inlet at top, fuel drain at bottom, fuel outlet, filter, primer and electric pump, air vents, fuel level unit, solid mounts, electrical installation for pump, fuel level unit and grounding cable for security reasons. And most important, it must be leak free. Last thing to do was to fabricate inlet and this was something I did not plan during body rebuild. I finally decided to mount it inside existing fuel inlet compartment as I found it the best possible solution. To do this I had to cut bit by bit 80 mm diameter hole for a second factory fit through grumet. I did not think it through before and I had to pay a price.
finally everything is painted and ready to be installed and I like installation days the most because job can be marked as done. Factory fuel tank has three air vents, two of them merge into one and then there are two fittings at the fuel neck and these are so that you can fully tank fuel. With the additional fuel tank I decided to go with the same idea. I made two air vents that I will connect to these fittings but there is one more fitting at the top of each fuel neck and this is installation that lets air inside fuel tank when cap is closed. Air gets through special valve that is installed inside cabin so I will connect both fuel tanks through T fitting so that air can get into both and they can equal pressure but fuel is not going to mix at all because this connection is at very top which is good. Additional tank fuel outlet is going to join with new T fitting fuel retour line from injection pump to main tank. Factory G wagon fuel tank is 96 liters, my additional one is 50 liters, so I should have enough fuel for around 1000 kilometers, which is very much satisfying. Right, so I've been fooling around the neighborhood like 25 minutes maybe and my additional fuel tank is almost empty main one is almost full so I'm very excited about this uh, basically uh, I didn't expect this project would be that much challenging like pretty much of aluminum welding, welding um, electrical electrical job um, then pretty a lot to do with plumbing uh, to make this additional uh, fuel tank work some sort of connection between those two uh, tank uh, so that this job is done uh, properly uh, so I am very excited and happy because just uh, yesterday I tanked 20 liters uh, in a garage and I spilled pretty much of the fuel all around the uh, floor and now uh, just under my one finger uh, I have a button and I can press it and within half an hour I have additional 50 liters of diesel fuel how cool is that?